Now, I knew there might be some potential complications with this project, but I had no idea how much of an absolute fail it would be. In fact, the fail was so hard and so immediate that I have to pivot and do a completely different project than I was planning on doing. So first, in case you watched the last video where I kind of prefaced what I was going to do, let me go over what the plan was, why it went bad so quickly, and also also what the new project will be, which probably also will fail because I promised that we were going to get a little crazy, but probably also because that seems to be the only thing I can do is fail. All right, let's all calm down a little bit. And let me go over first why this was a fail that not even chair desk could save me. This is where it all started, the i7-7700. And if you saw the last video, I pulled this out of an old all-in-one where it was largely being wasted because it's kind of overkill for that type of device. Now, this is an old HP Slimline, and for as small as this is, it actually packs kind of a punch. It can hold up to a 7th gen i-series processor, so in a better form factor, it could be a really good fit for the i7-7700, especially because this has M2 boot capabilities, where a lot of older office-type computers from this era don't have that. Now, the initial plan, and I knew this would be complicated, is to try to case swap this out with another old HP case I have, which takes us into this. Now, I did a video on this computer. Uh, it's called the Untested Chunk PC, and I got it used on eBay for pretty cheap, and all in all, it's not a bad deal for the price I got it for, but it's just, there's nothing really about it that gets me excited, and I thought it would be interesting to try to swap the HP Slimline into this case. But I was doomed from the start start because I realized, and it was just by chance that I even tried to do this, I took a, an old GTX GPU that I have and I tried to fit it in the case. And apparently, even though this looks like a larger form factor designed to hold a full profile GPU, it didn't fit in there. It's legitimately like an inch and a half too small to fit that full-size GPU. Now, I was disappointed with this computer model before, and I kind of hated it, and I feel like my hatred was justified at this point. So, I had to pivot, and that's why I'm not going to be messing with either of those two computers, even though that was the plan. And instead, I have this. This is an old Dell Optiplex 3050. It's a computer from around that same era. It holds up to a 7th gen i-series processor, and also has M2 boot. It won't be as interesting or as crazy as the intended video, but we're still going to get a little crazy with it. I'm going to add the new processor, set it up for an M2 boot, add a decent GPU, and we're, I'm even going to try to do a power supply swap. Chair desk have mercy on our project. If it actually pans out, we could have a decent computer by the time we're done with it, but again, it all kind of hinges on having a power supply that can run a better GPU. We'll see how that goes. All right, cracking the Optiplex open. First and foremost, since this plan largely hinges on the PSU, I'm going to try to get that in there first. It's not going to fit well, but if I can just in some way crudely get it to fit, we'll proceed and then we'll test it out to see if it'll actually work with this PSU, which that's going to involve using some adapters and stuff, which is usually frowned upon when it comes to power, but this is just a project to see how things go. Now that the power supply is connected, I'm going to try to boot the machine just to see if it's even possible to go any further. And right on par with the rest of this video, the first power supply fly. Fail. Apparently, it didn't like the fact that I didn't have all the board connectors in. Whenever I tried the 24-pin to 6-pin adapter, it came on for just like a couple seconds, but then I couldn't power it on beyond that. So either the power supply itself is bad, or it just won't boot unless every one of those board connectors are plugged in, which we just don't have enough connections for all of them. So I swapped out the power supply with another one using the same adapter 
adapter, and this time it seems to be working. For a minute, I thought this whole thing was doomed, but it actually booted up and is running. It at least seems like we're on the right track, but I've worked with these old computers long enough to know how easily that stupid smile can get wiped off my face. Since I know the PSU will at least work, I'm going to just move it out of the way for a while while I do the other upgrades. Eventually, I'm going to have to try to modify the case. Or with me, it might be more accurate to say, cut up and brutalize the case. But I'm hoping to make it so this will actually close and still be able to hold the PSU, because this is not a tenable situation. But I'm going to focus on that in a later video, because there's really not much space in there, and it's going to most likely present a serious challenge. For now, let's just keep going with the upgrades and see if we can get things moving. Starting with the CPU, I'm pulling the existing processor, cleaning off the fan and the i7-7700 that I pulled in the last video, wiping off the thermal paste, then I'll add some more paste before I put the fan back on. With this model specifically, the Optiplex 3050, I do believe that the i7-7700 is the best processor it can hold, and with all the other upgrades we're doing, we want to push the processor processor as much as we can, otherwise all the other stuff isn't really even worth it. After that, I'm going to drop in another 8GB stick of RAM to bring our total up to 16GB. This is DDR4 2400MHz RAM. The only extra stick I have around is HP branded, but otherwise it's the same type as what we already have, so hopefully it'll be fine, though I'm not really sure, we'll have to see. And we want to be able to boot our operating operating system and run core applications from the M2 slot on the board. So I'm adding this M2 NVMe SSD, and the PC has this really convenient little plastic piece in here that just, it just kind of snaps on so we don't have to mess with any screws. It's actually the first time I've seen one of these, and it, it makes it real easy. It's actually really nice. I, I always appreciate small things like that in computers. And then one final thing before I reinstall the new PSU and try to fire it up is the GPU. For this upgrade, I decided not to go too crazy. I do have a couple graphics cards that are slightly better than this one, and they would be a good match for the power supply, which has two 6 plus 2 pin connectors. Theoretically, the power supply could run a pretty decent GPU, but I don't have any super expensive cards around, and the ones I do have, I want to save for other upgrades and better builds. I'm also limited in regard to what actually fits in this case, so I'm going with the GTX 970. I had it laying around and I think it's a good match. Also, I tested it earlier and it does, like, fit physically in the case. So that's always a plus when it actually fits in the case. You hear that, you stupid chunk PC? It's actually possible to hold this GPU, even though you refuse to. The insubordination from some of these computers. This stupid chunk failed harder than me trying to make this video. All right, so everything's installed and we at least have our temporary setup. And I've seen some nice cable management before, but this is truly a thing of beauty. The question is, what went wrong because something probably did, but we shall see. Success! Mostly. For whatever reason, it wouldn't boot with that stick of RAM in there. I didn't get beep codes or anything, but it was just a black screen. But as soon as I removed it, it started working, and I was able to do the install process. I, I tried reinserting it after the install process, did the same thing, but we at least got it running with 8 gigabytes of RAM, so I'll have to figure the rest out later. And everything else seems to be perfectly fine, everything's running well. So in the next video I'm going to try to get this to the point where it at least might kind of close. At least hopefully that's what it'll be, though you know how my plans tend to work out or not work out. But anyway, I appreciate you watching this video, thank you once again, and I hopefully will catch you later.